like a bum. homeless man on the street. Yeah. And when you check out homeless men, they all got what? Big ass yeah. beard. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them might be angels. That's true, Paul. Well, that's true. Yeah. Right, Hebrews 13. Yeah. An angel could come as a bum. Most people wouldn't be like, ah, it's not an angel. Hey, remember the story when we were speaking out there? We was out there on the Wall Street. We used to come back on the train. Yeah. And there was this girl, and he was walking through the train, right? And I remember, man, like it was yesterday. He looked all bummy and shit. Kind of. And all of a sudden, he turns around and saluted, and he saluted us. And how about shit outside? Oh, he, I think he said, behold the Israelites. Mm. And he went back in there first. There was a lot of spiritual things that happened back when the school won West. A lot of heavy things. Shalom. This is GMS on the sit downs coming back with the lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of GMS for teaching us this truth and that rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect out there spreading this word as a sinner and truth all over the four corners of the earth. God, I'm going to name this lesson um, Testimony, Angels Among Us. You know, you just seen the clip of the Apostle Tahar. You know, I hope um, I fixed up the volume right that it was uh, good to hear because I recorded it with my phone like this. And, uh, you know, the video was uh, was kind of soft. So I hope I managed to... Um, to uh, uh, pump up the volume uh, after this video but um, uh, what you saw uh, uh, in the in the clip was that Apostle Gabar said um, angels can come in the likeness of a bum you know and uh, and that sparked uh, my attention and then the Apostle Tahar was explaining that um, uh, they saw this guy and he was really bummy you know, and they was in a metro and he was walking by them, you know, just being in, in his in his type of trip, in his type of, you know, doings. And all of a sudden, you know, he turned around and he saluted them and he said, uh, basically, he said, the, uh, the Israelites, man, the Israelites. And when I heard that, I was like, damn, man, hey, that happened to us, too. And through the spirit, we already, you know, observed and and had a feeling like this 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 is not a regular man. Also, another time that that we also felt the presence of a literal demon man that knew us, you know. So um, first, I'm gonna bring out this scripture, and then I, I'm gonna give my first testimony. Um, about the thing that happened, and then I'm gonna go into the other testimony of another thing that happened. So, um, first I'm gonna bring out First Corinthians <clears throat> chapter four. 1 Corinthians chapter four, verse nine. It says, "For I think." That the most I had set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Now, the thing I want you to keep in mind is, um, um, you have angels on the left hand side, and you have angels on the right hand side. So, we are being made a spectacle unto angels, you know, left, eyes, left hand side angels, also known as demons, spiritual demons, you know, and the right hand side angels, also known as, uh, you know, our fellows, our fe fellow servants, in the, uh, laborers in this truth, man, you know, they are our brothers. So, I want to look up the word um, spectacle. In the online etymology uh, etymology dictionary, which the website is etym online, look up the definition of spectacle. Um, so it says spectacle, specially prepared or arranged display. From old French, spectacle.
spectacle, spectacle, sight, spectacle, um, Latin, spectaculum, a public show, spectacle, place from which shows. So we, we are basically a show, we are basically um, in the sight of these angels, man. You know, just like how we are in the sight of these uh, of the of the world, basically, because it says here from old French spectacle meaning sight. So we are in sight. We are in vision. We are we are being seen. We are being spotted, you know. And it, it, it goes even deeper than that. It says specially prepared or arranged display. So it's specially prepared. Who, who prepared this, this thing to, to happen and to be set up? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. You know? So it is. The camp, the brotherhood, the brothers that walk in the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh They are a specially prepared arrangement, a display. You know? So, um, we, are, we are being made a spectacle unto the world and unto angels. So we are in the sight of the world and in the sight of the angels, man. You know, this scripture ex shows you already that the angels are watching us, man. You know, so the first testimony was, um, <clears throat> we was at the, at the camp, we was teaching. And, uh, you know, it was a summer day, I believe it was um, around June. Yeah, I believe it was around... Uh, around June and um, what happened was uh, it was very it was a very demonic day you know we was at um, uh, Amsterdam Southeast Belmer where you uh, have a lot of jigs and there was this festival thing and stuff and um, we was teaching we was going into the scriptures and stuff and uh, I'll write as I can dig up the video and I'm a you know edit it in uh, the thing that I'm talking about now, but um, um, it was a very demonic day, man. We saw a lot of spirits and stuff, and all of a sudden, this big ass group of so-called Christians came. You know, I think they was thirty plus, forty plus uh, uh, females and a couple of guys in the midst. But there was this hill behind us. You know, we was teaching in front of this hill. So, um, um, they was, they was so-called speaking in tongues and stuff. All kind of demon. You know, it sounded, it, a very demonic vibration came off of the thing. So, um, hey, you know, we was getting, you know, we was getting irritated by that thing. But we was teaching and losing focus and stuff. All of a sudden, uh, this man came. You know, it was a Jake. And he came. And he said, um, you know, hey, what is this about? This and that. You know? Bop, bop, bop. And he was listening. And we explained to him. And he said, oh, yeah, I understand. I understand. He said, okay, cool. And he started talking certain things. He said, yeah, I'm from Bonaire, which is an island. He says he lived around, you know, around here. Meanwhile, brothers have been living there their whole life and they never seen this man. But anyway, that came to the topic later. So um, he said he was from around there. And uh, as we was teaching, he explained certain things too. And we was like, hey, there's some good information, man. And then true, true uh, in between the lines, he, he said, my study goes back 8,000 years ago. And he continued talking and basically, you know, certain brothers, it went over their head. But me and another brother, our faces changed, uh, changed and you could see it on the camera like, hey, we was like, huh? what did he just say? His study goes back 8,000 years ago. And then, you know, he continued talking and uh, all of a sudden he said that he, sp he speaks a lot of languages. He, see, he said he spoke, uh, speaks more than 15 languages or something. So I was like, what? Yeah, he said, I speak this, I speak this, I speak this. He was naming a bunch of languages. Portuguese, Italian, uh, uh, French, Papimento, uh, English, Dutch, um, 
And all of a sudden he said Norwegian, but I used to live in Norway. So I started speaking Norwegian to him, you know, just to check if he was telling the truth. This man started speaking Norwegian to me and I was like, what? This man, and then he started speaking all kinds of languages, man. And I was like, damn, man, you know, we had a very good, uh, 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 there was a very good uh, spirit within this man. But what happened then was this group of these Christian females that were speaking in tongues with all kinds of demonic vibrations, they went and stood uh, behind us on the hill. So they were standing behind us on the hill continuing with these demonic um, uh, 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 you know spells and that witchcraft that they was doing and we started teaching louder and as we started teaching louder they was gonna scream louder holding hands standing in a circle behind us and then you know brothers got irritated and they turned around and said like, you know they started to cuss them out like hey shut the fuck up what the fuck y'all doing this and that and then basically the man said like brothers listen and he caught our attention like he said brothers listen don't focus on them focus on on the teaching focus on what y'all guys are doing here it's very important you know and i saw like the the, <laughs> the man's spirit changed you know he, he he was like focus on what you have to do focus on uh, uh the teachings don't mind those people Church people over here, yeah. and you got IOIC over there, whole gang and us that do it. Yeah, <laughs> we're black, but hey, that's when that when it's sunny, that's when they start to come out, man. Yeah. yeah very, very. very I would yeah. just want to say also one thing. We are always the Lord willing, every Saturday, if it now min 10 is, yeah. 20 or min 30. We staan hier elke zaterdag van 2 tot 6 ongeveer. Ja, Want mensen moeten dit woord horen, snap Ja, ja, ja. Nee, maar... Ja. Hé, hey, zie je dit? Zie je dit? Uh -huh. Dit zijn diemen. Dit zijn echt de diemen. Ja. ja. Ik, kan, ik kan je begrijpen, maar je moet er niks van aantrekken. Doe niet als je het niet bestaat. Laat het zien. Je ziet het, maar... Lach zeten. Zeten wil bettelen. Ja, ja. Zeten wil bettelen. Ja. This chapter 20, verse uh, 4. It's fortified after the curse of Christ. Wait, 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 And even though I know Antillian people, Antillian people, the, especially the older ones, they are straight up coons, man. They are straight up coons. And they, this was an elderly man. So uh, normally, you know, normally these... Um, these elderly uh, uh, Antillians are straight up coons defending uh, these Christians. And this man said, listen, focus, don't mind those, those people and just keep focusing and read the scriptures. He said, read the scriptures. And then, uh, you know, the camp leader was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Hey, let's, let's get back into it, man. Fuck, the, fuck those demons. And he said, yeah, let's go. And then we started teaching again and, you know, started talking with him. And then he said, hey, brothers. Stay spiritual and focus on what you have to do, man. I'm going to get some food and uh, and uh, I'm going to see y'all later. So then he went and uh, the teaching continued. Oh, according to the Lord, the most I want this to happen, you know, you know. You're, you're right, you're right. I, 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 I agree. What you start talking is right. It's the right thing, the truth. But for a lot of people, they don't know what is the truth. You have the real truth in you, you know. But that's why they active like that because the yeah. demons and them, <laughs> the demons, the demons, they don't know what to do because yeah. you're strong. Yeah, the demons you are. You are all strong. That's right. Don't. When you feel that, as a legend, the air is gonna get fucked up. The Jews, the Jews yeah. basically only so they they gonna scan anyway. And then I said to the brother on the on my left, and you know the brother Natanya Allah, I told him like, I think that was an angel. And he said, Yes, I think the same. I was like, What? You think the same? You know, because that's not the thought. 
that would come in your in your head normally, you know? And he said, yeah, I think the same, man. And I was like, damn. He said, because he said his study goes back 8,000 years ago. And I was like, yeah, man. I heard that too. You know, so we started talking about it after the camp. You know, we, we basic, basically was, was speaking about it. And, uh, you know, brothers uh, really had that feeling that he came there to comfort us because a, a, a legion of demons was behind us, man, trying to disrupt the word, you know, and he came basically in the midst of us, man. And, and, and it felt, um, it felt very, um, you know, uplifting, man, you know, and having the thought in mind that that could have been a, 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 an angel. Hey, that's just beautiful, man. And that day, you know, a lot of people came to listen, but it was also a spiritual battle, man. It was a very spiritual fight, man, you know. Because that's what we do, man. We 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 fight um we fight the spiritual battle. You know. We are fighting a spiritual battle, man. So. So that man left, and um, you know we never saw him again. That's also funny. We never saw him again. Never. You know, even though he said he lived around there, around the area, we never saw him again, man. You know? So, if it was an angel, you know, what the Apostle Tahar was saying and uh, Apostle Gabar about angels can come among us. You know, I know, you know, through the Spirit that, that, that that's true, man. You know, and, and Yahweh Shai said it also, man. You know, you got to understand that we are doing what Yahweh Shai said, that if you would do that, you will be there, man. This is um, Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So, hey, man, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can send an angel among you, man. Can send the angel among you, you know. You finna teach the uh, teach the angel, man. The angel be like, yeah, teach me. I don't know nothing. Meanwhile, the angel is full of knowledge, man. You know, the angel knows everything, and you know we teaching the angel. You know that's a possibility. Yahweh Shai is in the midst of it, man. You know, and Yahweh Shai is set above ab above the angels, man. Like it says in Hebrews. So Yahweh Shai basically um. You know, is uh, is above the angels and uh, can can tell the angels what to do, man. You know, like uh, go in the midst of these brothers. You know, this is Hebrews, um, Hebrews chapter one, verse two. Had in these last times, no, let me start at one. The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed uh, heir over all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself pur purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the ma majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. So it already tells you that Yahusha is above the angels, man. And he has he has uh, been he, um, made heir of all things. You know, that's why in the kingdom, uh, uh, Yahusha is going to be our king, man. Yahusha is going to be our king. You know, king of kings, lord of lords, man. You know, above Yahusha is the heavenly father, Yahweh. But Yahusha is going to reign over us, man. You know, but we are going to join heirs with Yahusha. Meaning we're going to have a piece of what Yahusha has, man. You know, but back to the topic. So Yahusha can easily send an angel among you to comfort, you know, to observe, to pull out certain questions. Like, uh, so what about this? Oh, y'all don't know about that. Well, you know, you, you, you are going to go home and you're going to study the thing, man. You know? These, the angels are among us, man. Because why? We are a specially prepared or arranged display unto them. So we are basically a show. They are watching us 
they are watching uh, watching us constantly man you know that's why uh the scriptures say wait let me grab it real quick let me grab it real quick um let me grab this uh, precept before i bring this out this is luke chapter 15 starting with, with verse 7 i say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over 90 and 9 just persons which need no repentance so if there are people that need no repentance repentance there's nothing to rejoice of because you know it's not like um uh it's not an achievement because they, they was already there you know when you have a uh, 100 euros every day you, uh, it's normal but as soon as you make that 100 euros a thousand you it's going to be an achievement man you're going to be like hey that's a rejoicing and the same is it you know with with people that turn to righteousness man people that come to the truth brothers that come into the fold verse 8 either what woman having 10 pieces of silver if she lost if she lose one piece doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it gone even though you have 100 pieces or 10 pieces right there when you lose one you're going to be like damn where is that one silver or golden piece verse 9 and when she had found it she called her friends and her neighbors together saying rejoice with me for i have found the piece which i had lost you know and this is basically a parable you know, um, for for the for the brothers in the truth, man. You know that uh, uh, whenever a brother comes in the truth, whenever a brother returns back to the fold, you have to rejoice, man. You know, because that means Israel is rising, man. In the Hebrew, we say Kwam Yasha Allah, man. Arise, Israel. Verse ten. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels. Of the most high over one sinner that repented so there is joy hey, the angels are, are like yes man hey pop another one man boom another one came in back to the truth man and they can see it man they can see if the, if the man is sincere or not but if he repents if he prays to Yahweh with an upright heart and and sincerely you know the angels are gonna rejoice over that man let me read it again Luke 15 and 10, likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repented. You know, so the angels rejoice over that, man. And now the scripture that I was uh, speaking of, this is um, Psalms 43. Psalms 43 and 15. Psalms 43 and 15. <clears throat> the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. You know, and, and that also represents that these that the angels, they are watching us, man. You know, the angels are the eyes of the Most High, man. You know, they watch us, man. You know, and the, and the eyes of the Most High are, are upon the righteous, man. That's why... Uh, sometimes you do something that uh, you went off, you slipped, you went off, you sinned, and the most I can correct you for that, you know, physical, mentally, you know, bring some, some, something uh, messed up uh, on your path uh, that you have to deal with, and then you'll be looking at the wicked, and you'll be like, they do these things all the time, but they don't get nothing, that's why that's because the eyes of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh are upon the righteous man. The brothers that are trying to do their best uh, uh, um, uh, to please Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh man. That's why the scriptures say the most I chastise it to whom he loves. You know? So if, if that wouldn't happen to you, hey, you would have known where you'd be, man. You would have known. So, um, you know, the eyes of the most are upon the righteous man. So... The angels are among us, and uh, not only that, 
You know, these demons are also uh, among us, man. These demons are also among us. So, and that's that's my second testimony. Um, uh, we was uh, we was going into central uh, city uh, of Amsterdam, <clears throat> you know, the capital city of uh, of uh, Holland, and we uh, came in this grimy place. You know this very grimy place, and uh, <clears throat> we already encountered this guy. Uh, we was uh, we was walking with some like seven, eight brothers, you know, uh, that stand in the camp. So what happened was um, we encountered this dude already. He wanted to pull a gun on us, and uh, basically uh, we we didn't give a fuck. We said, "Yo, go ahead, then." He said, I can go to my scooter right now and pull out the gun. We said, oh, well, go ahead, man. What you doing? I don't know what your problem is. Uh, we are not looking for drugs, nothing. What you talking about? You know? And then he changed and he was like, you know, the hell with it. And then we walked away. So that came before. But we, we walked in this very grimy place of the city, you know? Um, and... Um, we was walking towards this corner, and when I turned the corner, I saw this Jake, and he was bugging out. He was screaming, he was yelling, he was he was basically flipping out, man. And uh, <clears throat> and then when he saw us come around the corner, he he was like, he his face was shook, like, and he was quiet. He stopped, and he looked at us. And um, the brother noticed it, and he looked. He looked at the guy, and he was like looking at all our faces, and then he said, "These are the Israelites." And then the brother uh, looked at him, and I was a little bit further, but I, it caught my ear too, and I turned around like, "Huh? Did someone say these are the Israelites?" And then I saw that same guy I, when I walked by. I said, "He's a demon." I said it. I told the brother, uh, he's a demon. And then we walked by and the other brother was steady watching him. And then he said, these are the Israelites. And, uh, you know, I heard it too. And I already said before, this is a demon, you know. So um, even these demons, man, even these demons, they know who we are, man. They know what we are going to do. They know... You know what we are gonna be, y'all yeah, is up because um, the elect is already manifest, man. You know, let me pull that out real quick. Um, Second Peter, what was it? Second Peter, Second Timothy, I mean. But hey, the crazy thing was he was uh, he was really um, because I heard him, man. We came around the corner. He was he was screaming as a fucking demon, man. He was screaming as a fucking demon, and I looked at him. I was like, I said, this is this is a crazy demon, man. This is a crazy demon. And he looked back at me, and he looked at all of us like he was shocked and he was quiet. And then he's and then all of a sudden he said, these are the Israelites, man. These are the Israelites. You know, and uh, you know we had to talk about it. Like hey, it was that was some crazy shit. You know, later on, you know, day, many days later, we we actually realized. You know, at the moment, you don't really realize what just happened. You know, so a uh, couple of days later, we we spoke about it again, and uh, you know, we realized that you know that was an actual demon that basically saw the man that teach the word of Yahweh Hashem on Shai man. You know, so this is Second Timothy chapter one verse nine, who had saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to His own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahweh before the world began. So the Most High has a purpose, and the Most High has set up men. The Most High has set up men. Um, to teach this truth and some are gonna fall off and some are gonna make it man some are gonna push until the end some are gonna die in its truth the most has a purpose 
and that purpose already stood before before the uh, before the world began man you know before the world began that purpose already stood so these men are known amongst angels the men of Yahweh are known among angels and among demons man you know so it says but according to his own purpose and grace which was given us in Hamashiach Yahushai before the world began you know so before the world began the most I had his purpose now back to the word spectacle it says specially prepared or arranged display so isn't a purpose something that you have arranged before you know isn't isn't a purpose something that that you have uh, prepared before uh before it begins you know that's why special that's why the word spectacle says specially prepared or arranged display you know and that's what we are doing man and that's what we are in the sight of, of the angels man and of the world you know so this demon he said yeah they are the israelites before i go on um i want to go back on that uh thing that i said uh you know of, of the angel that uh, was comforting us you know one scripture i forgot revelation 22 and 9 then said he unto me let me start at 8 revelation 22 and 8 and i john saw these things and heard them and when i had heard and seen i fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things so john bowed down to the angel then said he unto me see thou do do it not because we ain't supposed to worship angels man you know we ain't supposed to worship angels and this is the reason for i am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets so the angels are our brothers man the angels are the, our fellow servants of, uh, of yahweh man so when they are among us or when they come among us and you have a spiritual eye and you observe and you know, an angel might show you something like, hey, I, I can speak multiple languages, man. That's not coincidence. So are you doing something with those languages? No, I just know them. Hmm? It's a little bit strange. But okay, you know, if you're spiritual, you are going to think deeper than what the eye shows you. You know? So an angel might show you something, man. Then said he unto me, see, thou doest it not, for I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship Yahweh. So that's the commandment, worship Yahweh, man. You know, and to finish it up real quick, because um, the battery is running low. Um, uh, where is that? Because I have like two minutes. You know, even Yahweh man, let me grab that. Since I cannot find, uh, you know, the scripture. But the scripture is about, um, you know, the people that wanted to, um, uh, it's an axe. The people that wanted to um, exercise um, uh, demons in the name of uh, Yahweh Bashem Shai. But then the demon said, um, Paul, I know. Yahweh Shai, I know. But who art thou? So that shows you. That the, these demons know the man of the Lord, man. You know, and you can look up the scripture. I'm going to finish it up real quick. Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3 verse 1. It says, in those days. Uh, no, uh, Isaiah, uh, Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of, uh, up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So Yahushai was not yet teaching and he was already tempted by Satan, man. You know, so even though he was not yet teaching, the, the spiritual demon Satan knew what he was going to be and what he was going to do, man. So he went and, uh, and put afflictions upon him, man. You know, he went, uh, he, he tried to make him go off, you know, and that's what happens with us too. These demons want, want us to go off, man. You know, so, hey, man, that was a testimony. These demons... Are among us angels are among us they are our brethren man you know and uh you know y'all i'm able to put the clip within this video 
but uh, y'all 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 would, would know by now you know so with that call the lawyer me how about show me how shy shalom akia shalom